everybody welcome back to our channel thanks for joining us today with fall right around the corner we thought we'd make some pumpkin cupcakes this recipe is absolutely delicious we hope you all stick around and enjoy the video don't forget to leave us a like and share this video and of course subscribe to our channel if you haven't already all right let's talk about our ingredients y'all so let's talk about what we have that uh, we're going to be making this delicious recipe with all right first off we have some baking powder as well as baking soda a couple of eggs we have some melted butter and some pumpkin puree yum yum <laughs> some brown sugar and we're also going to be using some cake flour now for our seasonings we have some salt pumpkin pie spice ground cinnamon as well as some pure vanilla extract now also we have here some cinnamon sticks we're going to try and see if we can use these but we're not sure yet we'll see how it goes all right y'all i think that covers everything so let's go ahead and get started all right y'all so we're going to go ahead and get started on our dry ingredients now these dry ingredients are measured of course we'll let you guys know exactly how much we're putting in here but um, feel free with the pumpkin pie spice and the cinnamon, you can put as much as you like. I mean, you know, don't go like super crazy, but put as much as you like. Of course, we, we love those two spices, so we tend to put a little bit extra, which is great for this recipe. And then after we get all of these mixed in, Ricky's gonna get us started on our way. So to get started on our wet ingredients, we're gonna go ahead and mix together our brown sugar and our butter. You wanna make sure you mix those two together really well. Uh, you, of course, can use oil if you'd like. We just prefer to use butter for our pumpkin cupcakes because the butter gives the cupcakes a more fine texture and um, it makes it more flavorful. We just like the flavor of the butter. So feel free to use oil, but um, now we're gonna go ahead and add in our eggs. And once those are mixed up, we're gonna add in our pumpkin. And then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so this next step is um, optional. We added some more cinnamon and um, pumpkin pie spice because like we mentioned, we like uh, extra. But um, once that's incorporated, we went ahead and added our dry ingredients uh, a little bit at a time. Make sure you stop every now and then to scrape down the sides of your bowl. So now that our uh, batter is done, we're gonna go ahead and start putting our cupcake liners in our pan. Uh, we filled ours about halfway to two thirds full. Uh, just make sure you're not overfilling because they will overflow while they're in the oven. So um, just keep that in mind while filling your cupcakes. 
Our oven is uh, preheated to 350 and we bake these for about 25 to 30 minutes, depending on your oven. Uh, just to keep an eye keep an eye on them around 25 minutes just do the toothpick test and then you know just bake in smaller increments and this is how they came out okay so we're gonna get started on our cream cheese frosting this is doubled and you do not need to double this uh, we just doubled it because we planned on using the icing for something else. But you'll need vanilla, powdered sugar, cinnamon, pumpkin pie spice, a little salt, cream cheese, and butter. And once again, we'll have the measurements down below the video in the description. But uh, we're going to start by creaming our butter and our cream cheese together. You want to put your mixer on high just to make sure everything is incorporated. And then you'll add in your vanilla and your powdered sugar, just little by little. And then I put the spices in last. And once again, you only need half of the ingredients that we're using here. Um, you only need half of these. We'll have the measurements in the description uh, under the video once again. But half of this icing is enough icing for 12 cupcakes. Um, but make sure you're scraping down the sides of your bowl, of course, while doing your icing because the powdered sugar can get stuck down at the bottom on the sides very easily but I just added in my uh, cinnamon and pumpkin pie spice and salt and this that's pretty much it you want enough cinnamon in there so you can see it in the icing but not so much that it overpowers the flavor of the icing Okay, Ricky, so why don't you tell us a little bit about what you're doing here in case, you know, people want to know how to do this step. I think it's it's important. It turned out really good. Okay, so I'm using a um, 1M piping tip by Wilton, and I'm also using their 16-inch piping bag. But it's really simple because all I did was start in the center and then just swirl along the outside and then up to give the icing a little bit more height but mm -hmm. it was really easy to do yeah it's so pretty i love the um the way the swirls look they just look really smooth mm -hmm. i i really think you guys should give this a try i personally think that the tip does most of the work for you but they turned out beautiful and delicious mm -hmm. that tastes so good y'all mm -hmm. And then to finish them, we just dusted them with a little bit of uh, pumpkin pie spice. Oh yeah, that was a great idea too. Mm -hmm. oh, that was good. And it's so pretty, just so fall-ish. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and close out this video. We hope you guys enjoyed and we hope you guys make this recipe. Yes, thanks for watching y'all. We're glad y'all decided to join us today. And don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit that post notification bell so you know when we post our next video. All right, y'all. God bless. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye.